is his own main line. Tell Say him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, tell him what you want right now. Call him up, call him up. Tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up. Tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up. Tell him what you want. Oh, call him up and tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, tell him up and tell him what you want. Oh, if you want your soul to bite, tell him what you want. If you want your soul to bite, tell him what you want. If you want your soul to bite, Tell him what you want. Oh, call him up and tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, call him up and tell him what you want. Amen. 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 Let us take our scripture reading this morning from Psalms 95. Amen. Psalms 95. Take our scripture reading this morning. I'll be reading from the English Standard Version. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with praise, of songs of praises. For the Lord is, Lord is a great God mm -hmm. and a great king above all gods. Yeah. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and the hands are and his hands form the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Mm -hmm. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as on the day of Manasseh, of Messiah, in the wilderness, when your fathers put me into the put me to the test, to put me in to prove to the proof, do they, though they had seen my work. For forty years I loathed that generation and said, They are a people who go astray in their heart, and they have not known my ways. Therefore, I swore in my wrath they shall not enter my rest. I read to you the ninety-fifth chapter, ninety-fifth division of Psalms. May the Lord have a bleed. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his word. Mind. Let us go to our Father in prayer. Mm -hmm. As we think about those who are afflicted with the COVID virus, we think about those who are afflicted with cancer, those who are bereaved this morning. Let us have a thankful heart, a mind of thanksgiving, for if you're here this morning, you're here for a reason. Amen. God has granted you his grace. Yes. Yes. Nothing but not grace. by my grace, mm -hmm. not by your own grace, but by the grace of the Most High God. Amen. You are here one more time. Mm -hmm. 
God, you are who you say you are. Mm -hmm. You can do what you say you can do. I am who you say I am. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Your word is alive and active in me. Most high God, mm -hmm. the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the mm -hmm. God of Jacob, the grand architect of the universe, the creator of the heavens and the earth and the fullness thereof, yeah. the one that formed dirt and made it into his image and put his breath into it and called him man. Mm -hmm. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Abba, Abba, Abba. Gracious Father, restore us. Shine your face upon us that we may be saved. All have sinned and fallen short of your will and your glory. Yes, we have. But hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your son, Jesus, going to Calvary, shedding his blood for the remission of our sins, the salvation of our soul. Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit that dwells within us each and every day and guide us mm -hmm. to and fro as we traverse this world. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank mm -hmm. you for your kindness. Thank you. We thank, thank you for you. wisdom, you. knowledge, and understanding. Father, we thank you for the joy that you put into our heart. We thank you for the peace of mind you give us, the courage to stand on your word and faith, Father. We thank you for the faith that you give us. Mm -hmm. Now, Father, we ask you to look down on each and every member of St. Frederick's today, Father. Well, Bless them and keep them. Wrap your arms around them. Put them in your heads of protection, Father. Yes, Lord. Bless each and every person that's being afflicted by the virus today, Father. Yes, yes, Father, yes, we ask yes. you to look in on the families of the bereaved See, today. Give Jesus. them peace this morning, Father. Let them have peace in their hearts, peace in their minds, Father. Father, we ask you to touch the ones that are suffering from cancer today. Bless them, keep them, give them peace. Give them love please in their Lord, heart, please Father. Please, Lord. Now, Lord, we ask that you touch the man of God today, bring in your word. Lord, Lift Lord, him up, him. speak to Jesus, him, speak Lord, through Jesus. him, that your word may penetrate our hearts today, Father. Penetrate our minds that we may be thankful that we are yet in your presence. One yes, more time. Yes, now, yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to rain down your blessings upon us. Watch over us and keep us. And your sheep shall hear your voice. And we should come running, Father. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we just ask in you to be with Jesus. us today. Be with us as we go forward the rest of this week. Bless us and keep us yes, from Lord. hurt, harm, and danger. Well, in the name of the Most High. The Most High. Yeshua HaMashiach. Well, amen. Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 Come by here, dear Lord. Come by here. Come by here, dear Lord. Come by here. Come by here, dear Lord. Come by here. Oh, Lord, come 
the whole situation. You might not continue to have what you want, but he will always give you what you need. What you need. All you have to do is continue to call, continue to have faith in him and watch him work. He's a marvelous God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Man, I go back before yes, you in prayer and I ask that as I pray that you pray also that whatever is ailing you, whatever obstacle is in your way, that you give it to the Lord. I, 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 I want to ask that as you give it to the Lord, and we're going to ask that if you got a pair of scissors beside you, or, or, or a little pocket knife, or whatever you have that is, that is sharp, that that when you give your prayer, I hear you preaching. when you That's give right. your concerns right. to the Lord, I want you to take them scissors and cut that string that's got you tied to that situation. You know, it, 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 it's just like a, a, a mother giving birth. After she gave birth, they cut that umbilical cord to where that living soul had to stand on his own two feet and, and let our father work within that child to keep everything going. Our father wants to work in you this morning, but you have to cut all of the negative ties, the negative thought that you have. We ask for you to cut it. Give it to the Lord. And then cut that fishing line. Now, you know that, that fishing line is a fluorescent line that you just can't see. You know it's there. Other folks know it's there. But you want it to be invisible. So we ask that we all go in prayer, asking him to take whatever burden our hearts and our minds. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I come to you once again today asking you for your mercy and your grace. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you look at each and every one of your children. Lord, you know what each and every one of us need this morning. Father, you know what ailing our little hearts. Father, you know the things that we're trying to give to you, and for some reason we keep pulling them back. Father, we're having the bad understanding that we can take care of things better than you can. But Lord, I know different. I know better. I know that once everything is laid in your lap, that you will take care of it. It may not be within my time, but it's always within your time. You are a long time God. And Lord, we just ask that you come down and touch your children. Father, you see that the trouble that this little plan is in, dear Lord. Father, I ask that you fix each and every mindset to do what they're supposed to do. Father, so that this disease, this virus can go on by. Father, I believe deep down on the inside that this is just something to get our attention, to tell your children that they need to continue to look up, that they need to continue to trust and believe in you, knowing that you have everything under control. Father, I ask that you look at
at all of the hospitals. Look at all the homes, dear Lord. And I ask that you touch them with your mighty finger. Father, heal their body. Father, fix and heal their old feeble mind. Father, that when they begin to stand up, they begin to call on your name. Call on the name of the old most high. Calling on the name that was able to heal them in the weakest time. Calling on the name that no matter where you at, it is a wild worldwide no name. Father, we want to say thank you for sending your son yeah. to show us the pathway to righteousness. Thank you, thank you. for sending your son. Yes, Father, forgiving me yeah. the right to stand and yeah. declare thy word true. Yes, Father, we come to you this morning with all our aches and pain. Yes. Saying to heal our feeble bodies. Yes, Asking you, dear Lord, yes. to take over, yes. take charge. Yes, and Father, let us know yes. that you are. you are. Father, you have said yes. that no matter where we at in life, no yes. matter what we're thinking about, that every knee shall bow yes. and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord. Yes, Lord. Well, Father, we ask that those that are tuning in with us today, well, Father, where they are a true believer or not, yes, we ask that you reach and touch their hearts. Touch them, Father. Let them know that you are who you say you are. Well, Father, give them the taste yeah. of your good sweetness. Well, Father, we thank you. Thank you. For all you've done. Oh, we thank you yes, sir. for what you're going to do in our lives. Yes, yeah, Jesus. Father, we offer this prayer in your son Jesus' name. Jesus. Yeah. Because he is. You are worthy of all the praise and the worship. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 He is Lord, he has risen from the dead, and he is Lord, every tongue confess, every knee shall bow, that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is. Lord, we ask that you continue to call, continue to trust and believe in yes, him. Amen. Yes. We're going to ask at this time, uh, before we go into another selection, those of you who are at, at home, those that are tuning in for the first time, uh, as we prepare for our tithes and offering, that if you can find it in your heart to help this ministry, and no way things that we do, uh, 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 we
we got to have power. We got to have the equipment to do the Lord's work. Uh, we ask that if you can see fit. Uh, I, I'm not saying take away from your home church, uh, but I'm asking if the Lord puts it on your heart and your mind uh, that you'll send something so we can continue to do the will of the Lord. And man, we will graciously appreciate it. I, I'm pretty sure uh, uh, the mailing addresses end up down there somewhere um, at the bottom. If, if not, uh, it's P.O. Box 812, uh, Marble Falls, Texas, St. Frederick's Baptist Church. Amen. And we go ask those that are uh, in the house if we can stand for our reading. Those of you at home and I'm here, we're going to come out of Malachi, the third chapter, starting at the 8th through the 12th verse. Malachi 3, 8 through 12. Amen. And it reads, Will a man, a man rob God? God? Yet, Yet ye have robbed, robbed me. me. But ye say, Wherein have you robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me. Even this whole nation, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now, wherewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out of a blessing, that there should not be room enough to receive it. Amen. 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 This little light of mine, I'm going to shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. 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 Let it in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Jesus gave it to me. Well, I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave it to me. I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave it to me. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. My God gave it to me, and I'm gonna let it shine. My God gave it to me, I'm gonna let it shine. My God gave it to me, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I'm a 
attempt to sing this song that really goes with the message, but it's one dear to my heart. So the Lord has been mighty good to me. I'll tell it everywhere I go. He loosed my shackles and set me free. I'll tell it everywhere I go. Everywhere that I go, everywhere that I go, everywhere that I go, I've got to tell it, I'll tell it everywhere I go. Sing along with me, heaven. I'll tell it, talking about my Jesus, tell it everywhere I go. I'll tell it, ooh, -ee -ee -ee, yeah, tell it everywhere I go. Everywhere that I go, everywhere that I go, everywhere that I go, I've got to tell it, I'll tell it everywhere I go. Now every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every, every day with Jesus, I love him even more and more. Now I don't always serve him like I should, but he keeps on being mighty good. I've got to tell it, I'll tell it everywhere I go. Everywhere that I go, everywhere that I go, everywhere that I go. I've got to tell it, I'll tell it everywhere I go. Sing along with me angels, I'll tell it. Talking about my Jesus, tell it everywhere I go. I'll tell it, ooh, -ee -ee, yeah, tell it everywhere I go. Everywhere that I go, everywhere that I go, everywhere that I go. I've got to tell it, I'll tell it everywhere I go. Father in heaven, we thank you for this, another privilege and another opportunity to come into your presence, oh God. Father, we come thanking you this morning for all your many, many blessings. Lord, I thank you for my last night lying down. Thank you for watching over me as I slumber and I slept. Father, thank you for waking me this morning, oh God, touching me with your finger of love. Father, thank you for bringing me into a brand new day, one that has never been seen before. And oh God, right now I yield and surrender my all to thee. Not just my, my words, but my emotions, my thoughts, and all of my spirit, Lord. I commit to you for this word this morning. And oh God, I pray that someone will be blessed this morning, that they will realize that you're good in spite of all that we have gone through and that we see. And Lord, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Good morning to you, St. Fredericks, all that's here, and to all of you that are viewing this broadcast. Truly, the Lord is good. He is so good. I should have got an amen there. Because God is good. All right. Even the sinner, even the unbeliever, even those that are lost and out there in the world, God is good to. Amen. 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 Because even then, God pours out his grace upon the unjust as well as the just. His mercy is to the righteous as well as, well as the unrighteous. Mm -hmm. This morning, my brothers and sisters, there is a word from the Lord. If you have your Bibles, I'd like you to go with me to Matthews, the Gospel according to Matthews, in the 19th chapter. Get there, say amen. amen. And if you don't mind, please stand for the reading of God's word. I had a little talk with Brother Q there this morning, and I shared with him some 30 years ago when I accepted, well, when I received 
revelation of preaching God's word. That was something not in the agenda and something that I still to this day cannot do without the Spirit. Amen? So therefore, we surrender to the Holy Spirit this morning for the preaching of the word. If you are in Matthew's chapter 19, beginning at the 16th verse, I'll be there to read you there. According to the King James Version, these are the words that were, was recorded. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He said unto him, Which? Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, and go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasures in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'd like to use for a subject this morning, from verse 17, when Jesus said, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but God. I like to use for a subject, yes, he is. Amen? Amen. Look at somebody sitting next to you and say, God is good. God is good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. You ought to say it with emphasis. You know, because we all heard the old cliche. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Sister Walls, I promise you, there are going to be times or have been times in our life that God don't seem so good. When our children are suffering and seem like they just can't get well, we don't see God as being good then. I should have got an amen there. When we lose a loved one, our minds can be confused and, and don't seem like God is so good. If y'all recall in 2015, when I got a call that afternoon laying on my living room floor and told me that my daughter, at 38 years old, had passed. said to myself, Lord, well, why not me? She never married, never had any kids. I've done so much mess in my life. My baby just didn't seem like he was so good. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen? But I'd like to go back to Psalms 34 verse 8 for a second. To correspond that with Jesus saying that there is none good but God. Mm -hmm. In Psalms 34 and 8, verse 8, David said this. He said, Oh, taste and see mm -hmm. that the Lord is good. Somebody should say, yeah. Yes, He is. Mm -hmm. Oh, taste and see. That the Lord is good. Yeah. <clears throat> Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. All right, all right. 
In other words, that's what Jesus was trying to say to this young rich ruler. When you come and, you know, I, I said this just this morning to somebody. Uh, we talk about people being good people, having a good heart. Mm -hmm. But according to my Bible, uh, Pastor Barrett, it says none but the righteous shall see God. All right. Mm -hmm. In other words, there are going to be a lot of good hearted, good folks in hell. Because there's only one way, only one way to get to heaven. Uh huh. That's Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes. That's Jesus. Amen. See, this young man, this young rich ruler, he had plenty of possession, not realizing that he, all that he had was the goodness of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. There's another song that, that we used to sing during Tide Fang up there in Michigan. Say, when you get a little money and you get on your feet, why do you change? Hmm. But what God has given you is no more than you need. Why can't you remain the same? Hmm. Amen? Amen? Because everything that we have, everything that we got, it was by the goodness of God. All right. Amen. That same daughter that I just talked about, she told me one time, she said, Daddy, I ain't got to do this, I ain't got to do that. God probably supply my needs. I said, yeah, baby, that's why he supplied you a job. Hmm. I, I, amen? Amen. Because thank God for those of us that are still working. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me this morning, their job just let them go. Hmm. Oh, my Lord. Praise God for what you have. All right. Amen. But all come from him. Yes. Now, when I looked at this and I began to meditate on this, God began to speak to me and he said to me over in Proverbs chapter 20. This is what Solomon said. Solomon said this. And we know Solomon was the one man that God gave him wisdom above everybody else in the world. Mm -hmm. And see, you don't go to school to learn wisdom. God, wisdom only comes from God. All right. Can I get a witness? Amen. Solomon, the book of Proverbs is a book of wisdom. Solomon said this. He said, most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness. Mm -hmm. Can't y'all hear Jesus talking there to that to that young ruler when they come to him talk about master, good master, good master? What shall I do? Jesus said, "There's nothing good but God." He didn't even proclaim his own goodness, and he was good. Amen. Amen. If one of them blind folks was here this morning, they'd tell you, "Yes, he is." Uh -huh. If one of those deaf folks could speak this morning, they would say, "Yes, he is." All right, all right. He said, "Most men." will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. Now, Pastor Perry, I'm not trying to pick on married folks. You understand what I'm saying? But from personal experience, mm -hmm. most times we men, we men, we tend to forget what our wives really mean to us. Right. Mm -hmm. We begin to look at what they're not rather than what they are. We forget that it's her that keeps the house clean. We forget that we don't have to go to the laundromat or to the washing machine because she takes care of those things. I wish I had some witnesses in here. Help the Holy Spirit. Help the Holy Spirit. We tend to forget that if she pay a cable bill, it allows us to pay the car note. Hmm. Many times, many times, many times, we will forget that the preparing of the food most time comes from her. She tends to the kids. Hmm. Right. But men will go around and complain about my wife ain't this, my wife ain't that. And forget what good she does do. And I told my nephew, he called me one time, he was talking about his wife is no help. And I said to him, I said, son, let me ask you a question or two. He said, what's that, Uncle? I said, 
Do she pay a cable bill? He said, well, she watch TV too. I said, oh, okay. I said, do she buy any groceries? But aunt, she got to eat too. I said, do she put in the gas in the car? Well, she drives it too, Uncle. I said, well, sounds like help to me. <laughs> I said, get by yourself like me, and you got to pay the rent, the insurance, buy the food, wash the clothes, all that, and you're going to appreciate what you got. Mm -hmm. Then on the other hand, sometimes women tend to forget what good their husbands are. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't hear no amen there either. Huh? <laughs> but they tend to forget, Brother Porter, Reverend Porter, that, 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 guess what? When I go to work, when you go to work and you bring your paycheck home and take care of some bills, hmm. sometimes we men, you know what I mean, if we one of those that pay all the bills, well, they'll forget. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Amen. They forget, they tend to forget that, guess what? Him taking out of the garbage. And if you got a household like I had, garbage cans can be heavy. <laughs> Amen? She forgets that, that, that when there's a at the door after dark that he says, baby, you let me get that mm -hmm. as a security. You understand? I didn't allow my wife or my girls to answer a door after dark. Mm -hmm. If they're going to get anybody, they got to get through me first. All right. mm -hmm. But women will tend to forget that when he looks at her and he tells her she's pretty, oh, what you got on your mind now? Y'all mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I said y'all won't go with me. Huh? Mm -hmm. In other words, what I'm trying to say to you all this morning St. Frederick's here and doing. Sometimes we have a tendency to forget what God has done. All right. Yeah. Amen. Can I get a witness now? Amen. Sometimes we get so caught up in what we want and fail to realize that we got what we need. Amen. All right. Amen. There are many times, many times, many times people will come to God. Y'all have to excuse me. I got some... Uh, sanitizer in my eyes yesterday at work mm -hmm. and this right one just don't want to clear up but it's okay because mm -hmm. i can still see god's hand working all right mm -hmm. amen mm -hmm. there are times that we will forget that god healed me when i was sick uh -huh. oh we'll pray hard we pray hard when things are hard for us, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Things seem like they ain't going to work out. Seem like I'm going to lose everything. But after God has delivered me, mm -hmm. because I know the God that I serve, he's able to turn things around in the midnight hour. Mm -hmm. Won't he do it? Yeah. Somebody will say, yes, he is. Yes, yes. yes. There are times that, that, that men and women are like, we, 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 we tend to take God's grace for granted. Uh -huh. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. Yes it is. Yes. There are times that we fail to give him the glory that is due his name. All right. Can I get a witness? No. First thing we holler, oh, I did this. I worked that out. Yes. yes. See, that's what Solomon was saying when he said, every man proclaims his own goodness. See, Many times people will come and tell you about the good they've done. Uh -huh. You understand? Oh, I helped so and so. Oh, yeah, I loaned so and so some money. Well, if you loaned it to them, why are you talking about it? Because uh -huh. the Bible says, when I loan you something, I don't really expect nothing back. All right. God has loaned us our life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God has been our shield, our protector. Mm -hmm. Now, I know, I know, I know I might be standing in a place where, where many of us don't like Donald Trump, they ain't going to vote for him, ain't going for him last time, ain't going to vote for him this time. But Solomon said, Solomon said, the heart of the king is in the Lord's hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Aren't you glad that God was able to take that heart of Donald Trump and turn it to stimulus package? I wish you had stimulus package this morning. I I sure like that stimulus packet and wish they'd do it again. 
Amen. But it wasn't Donald Trump that I prayed. I praise God that in the midst of this crisis, in the midst of this pandemic, Brother D, God is yet good to us. Can I get a witness? You here this morning because God looked beyond your faults and your failures and he saw your needs. Can I get a witness? I need some help, Holy Ghost. Because I'm getting ready to preach here now in a minute. Okay? Aren't you glad this morning that you don't have COVID? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And you probably been near and didn't know it. Yes. But I'm still mindful when I preach this to the day I die. Well, Brother Pastor, mm -hmm. no preach is going to reign 120 years. Yes, Am I right about it? So if I preach this today, tomorrow, and the next day, Psalms 91, verse 9 and 10, God's word said, because you have made me your habitation. Mm -hmm. You've set your heart on God. He said, no evil shall befall you. All right. Ain't God good? Y'all right. should say, yes, he is. Yes, he, is. Huh? Yes. he said, not only no evil shall befall you, but no plague shall come nigh your dwelling. Right, right. And Reverend Porter, I had a, a had a revelation on that because I was thinking at home where well, it ain't coming in my home. And and what about the job? God said your dwelling is anywhere that you are. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm under God's protection, brother pastor, mm -hmm. regardless to where I am or where I go. Yes, yes. yes. Ain't God good yeah. all the time? Y'all yes, better say yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. Amen. That's the message this morning. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I put emphasis on it. See, we have a tendency to thank somebody for doing it. Brother Pastor, hey, I ever not thank you for anything. I need to thank you for being the pastor, the friend, the brother. Thank you. But most of all, let me tell y'all, thank God. Yes, yes. I thank God. Because, see, I didn't deserve all that he had done for me. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. When I look at this year, it'd be 12 years God says, say, come November 11, that I've been here in Texas. All right. mm -hmm. And my brothers, my sisters, I think Pastor Perry, Sister Wall, and little young brother D. Wall, they can witness. There have been times that Thompson has stood here in this pulpit and Thompson was going through something. All right. Jobless, not knowing how I'm going to pay the rent or the light bill, but yet. 11 plus years, the lights never been turned off. Ain't God all right? All right. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, yeah. he is. 11 plus years, never an eviction notice on the door. Ain't he all right? Yes, he is. When I look back at all that God has done for me, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. See, people say I'm a little radical with my praise. Amen. And I don't mind if they say I look foolish. I don't mind if they think I'm a little bit crazy. Because I can say this. The Lord is good. Yes, he is. 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 Mama gone on now. Mm -hmm. But God has been a mother in a motherless land. Amen. Somebody says yes, he is. Yes, he is. God has been a father. Yes, he is. He's been a brother. He's been a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. All right. Yes, he is, y'all. I'm trying to help somebody here. I forgot all about the camera because, I, Lord, take me on up in the spirit. I don't mind. Because when I think about all that God has done, I've been hospitalized, laying in ICU, but yet, here I am today. All right. Ain't God all right? Yes, he is. I'm going to get y'all to say yes, he is. Before it's over. I've been down and didn't know which way to turn. But when I gave it to Jesus, I did as Peter said, cast all my care on him because he cared for me. And look where I'm at right now. Ain't God all right? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Because every time I think about people mourning and complaining, 
God does not want your kids. He don't want your murmuring. He don't want your moaning. Because he, Paul said, over in the, uh, Hebrews 11, 6, he said, without faith, it's impossible to please God. In this crisis that we find ourselves in, we need to have faith that, guess what? The God that we serve, he's good. I ain't hear you up in here. Yes, he is. I wish somebody helped me here. Huh? If you can't say it because you don't know it, but if you know that God is good, you ought to say, yes, he is. Yes, he is up in here. Because the world don't know like we know that guess what? We got a God that got the cure in his hand. All right. Ain't he all right? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. We serve a God this morning that guess what? That looked at a blind man and touched his eyes and he received sight. Ain't God all right? Yes, he is. We serve the God that, guess what, that stepped out on the sea when it was raging and he said, peace, be still. Ain't God all right? Yes, he is. And you think we ought to be in fear? You think we ought to be running and hiding, Brother D? We ought to be the ones standing out there on the corner telling him, will you come to Jesus now? Because he's good. Yes, he is. We should be telling the world that God is still on the throne. Yes, and he's he still is. good. Yes, he is. I want to thank God this morning. I want to praise him because when I look back over my life and I think about where he's brought me from, I can tell the world that he's been a doctor in a sick room. Yes, he is, y'all. He's been a lawyer in a courtroom. Yes, he is now. God has been everything to me. And when I tell the world, I can say God is good. Yes, he is. He brought me from a long way. Can I get a witness now? He kept me through the storm and rain. He held my hand. And I can say God is. God is so good to me. Yes, he is. I want to thank my Jesus, y'all. He's a comforter. He's a counselor, too. Yes, he is. I want to praise God because he's so good. He's been good to my daddy, y'all. Yes, he is. Kept me from falling out. Yes, he is. He's my rock in a weary land. My shelter in a time of storm. Yes, he is. He's a mother because a motherless dad. Yes, he is. He's been a friend, a mighty good friend. Yes, he is. He stuck fools by me, church. All the way from storm to rain, from trials and tribulation. Yes, he is. He's everything that you need, church. You are called on oh, Jesus now. You are called in his name, church. Say, Jesus, Jesus. Give it here. Give everything. Place it in God's hand now. I heard it clearly. That's Perry said. Give it to God and cut that strain. Because you don't need to take it back now. Because God will. God will. God will. God will. Take care of you. Yeah. Yes, he will. I know he will. Because he did it to me. He did it to me. For me now. He brought me to this place. And he told me to tell you. Look to God's goodness now. I heard you tell this rich man. All things come from God. Everything comes from God. 
what's wrong? Me good, there's none. Good for God, say yeah, church, say yeah. Hey, all right, hey, all right, hey, all right, all right. Hey, all right. Hey, God, all right now. Yes, he is. Yes, he is now. All you can do is just pray now. You all pray with a sincere heart. You all pray your name now. Because I learned to pray one time. But after that, I'll praise my way. I'll praise my way. Through the trials, uh, praise my way through trouble now. For uh, God is, uh, he's so good. Uh, yes, he is. Uh, God is, uh, so good. Uh, so good. Uh, I heard John say, uh, For God so loved the world uh, that he gave his only son. And the son gave uh, his life now. Uh, thank God. Uh, thank God all right. Uh, say yes he is. Uh, when that son uh, gave his life. Uh, he died to uh, on the cross now. Uh, did he die? Did he die now? Uh, early. Uh, early church. Uh, early. Uh, that Thursday morning, he got up uh, from the grave now. Uh, he's still good. Uh, yes, he is. And uh, when he got up uh, from the grave now, uh, I heard church uh, that he put one foot uh, on a mountain top, uh, the other foot uh, on a seashore, uh, and he declared church uh, uh, all power now. Uh, all power uh, is in his hand, y'all. Uh, and he all right, and he all right, see that, the right hand of the Father, God is so good now, he is so good, everything that you need to go to God, cause he's good now, yes he is, God bless you this morning, yes he is. Thank you for that word. Is God good? Yes, He is. Yes, He is. My, we gonna open the doors of the church. Doors that actually never close. The invitation never closes, but Amen. we continue to offer because we have so many that if they don't receive a invite, they don't want to move. They have forgot that our Father is their Father. Yes, He is. And yes, what He is going to do is. for you in private, He will do for you openly. Yes, He is. Yes, He will. So we ask that even you that are at home, if there's something on your mind, we will have prayer right after this, but there's something on your mind. We ask that you give it to the Lord. As I attempt this song, we're going to ask that you look in your hearts and your mind. And go to the law the way you know you need to go. I almost let go. 
I felt like I just couldn't take life anymore. My problems had me bound. The pressure weighed me down. But God helped me close. So I wouldn't let go. God's mercy kept me close. So I wouldn't let go. I almost gave up. I was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see it. The devil really had me. But Jesus came and grabbed me. He helped me close. So I wouldn't let go. God's mercy held me close. So I wouldn't let go. So I'm here today. Because God kept me, I'm alive today, only because of His grace, God kept me, He, he kept me, so I wouldn't let go, remember God is always by your side. All you have to do is continue to call on him. Amen. Uh, and the only way that he's not going to answer is if you ask in a miss. Mm -hmm. That if you have a time limit on when you need that prayer answer, he's not going to answer. He don't need no stipulations. He don't need no guidelines on when he's going to do what he's do. He created us, not us, him. Which means he has wrote the playbook. All, right. All we have to do is follow the instructions. Amen. 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 I was to offer yours to accept or reject. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to push. I'm not going to know. We don't do that. Amen. Amen. We're, we're going to offer prayer. For each and all of uh, that, whatever was on your heart or your mind, that the Lord will give you the strength and the courage to do as He wants you to do. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father. Father, I ask that you look down upon your children this morning. Father, we ask that you look at those who are standing up. We ask that you look at those who wanted to stand but didn't for whatever reason. Father, you know their hearts and their minds. Father, we just ask that you, dear Lord, touch their hearts and their minds. Father, give them the courage, the wisdom, the knowledge, dear Father, that they need to go about thy business. Father, we ask that you look at the minds of each and every one. Father, you know what's on their heart. 
And Father, we ask once again that you give them, you give us the courage to stand and declare that word true. Yeah. Father, we know that sometimes that we even weaken our needs. That we can't walk without help. But Father, to let your children know that all they have to do is raise their hand. All they have to do is call on your name. And you will send the heavenly host by to help them. Father, we just ask for your comfort. Not man's will, but thy will. Father, we give you all the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We want to say God bless each and every one. Um, we want to let all know that that it is at home. Uh, battling this virus or any other sickness that we are continuing to pray for you and with you that we know the Lord will bring you through but you have to stand boldly you have to call on his name I can call and for you. Your friends, your family can call and for you. But he's waiting to hear your voice. Your sincere thoughts and mind. To realize that I and St. Frederick's is praying for each and every one those that I know about and those that I don't and praying that the Lord will touch and heal in his way Father we give you all of our prayers and glory we ask that you touch the heart and mind your children. Thank you, Jesus. We want to thank each and every one for coming out. We want to thank those that are at home listening in. As I always tell folks, I, I, I may not see you. I, I may not call you every day. But believe me, you haven't been forgotten about. Mm -hmm. it, 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 I, I, I have a pretty big list of them. <laughs> so I, 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 I get to them when I can. But I pray each and every day over that list. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to call the names because my father know who they are. God bless each and every one. Praise God. Thank the Lord. God is good. God is good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. That's what people need to know. You understand? Even the 
People that don't go to church know the cliche, God is good all the time, all the time God is good. But they need to know is yes he is. Yeah. And you got evidence to tell them that he is. And the problem with God's people is that we're not witnessing to people like we should. Amen? We need to come to become so politically correct and stuck up and things like that. People know me in the stores. When I go in long before, I'm in Kingsland, H-E-B, they say there's a prayer that praises God. That's what they call me, that God praise him. Because one day I was in there, and I thought about how good God was, and I just shouted glory. And next thing you know, he got glory shouting all from the back of the store. People just shouting glory. Because there are a lot of people out there that will bear witness. Amen? Amen. So next time somebody's come to you, and they say, God is good, tell them, yes, he is. Yes, he is. And tell them what good things he has done for you. Amen? Amen. Let us all stand. Let the church sing. Let the church sing. Let the church sing. Before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our yes, Savior yes, yes. be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. And the church said, Amen.